Hey, it is Allison, and this is month number 18's post-op update. I got my notes here, so um, I don't forget anything. Let me get right to the numbers. Oh, by the way, this is the 20th of October, 2009. Um, I had my surgery on April the 16th, 2008. My starting weight was 544 pounds. Last month, on the 18th, I was 242. Then this month, um, on the 20th, I was 232.2. So I've lost 9.8 pounds uh, this month, a little less than the past two months, but I had a lot of uh, problems, and then there was just a lot of, you know, stuff going on. I've already talked about that. And, you know, some of my eating habits may have been um, the cause of that as well. And it just slows down as the months go along. Um, but 9.8, um, you know, I can't complain about that, even though I have. Um, because it was a little bit less, but it, it just happens, it slows down, but it's still going. 9.8 is better than nothing, right? So my uh, total is 311.8 pounds, and when I say that, it brings things into perspective, like why do you even have anything to complain about, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so I am, um, I'm pleased um, with, with that. So. In 18 months, having lost 311.8, um, when I start getting those kind of like negative things like, well, I didn't lose as much as I did last month, I have to just think about that and that should, um, should cure it. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, eating and exercise for this month. Um, I've had a lot of those issues that I talked about. Um, and also, like sometimes I'm not eating enough during the day and then eating too much at night, um, some snacking here and there, just the normal thing. Um, I, I did really well, I believe, with the test that I did, and I feel like it really helped as far as um, having the restriction, because I still feel that. It's not as, you know, much as when I was on it, but I still can feel the effects of that, so I, I, I consider that a success, and I would recommend it to anybody um, who is needing a little bit more restriction or trying to get some habits out of their um, lifestyle or things like that. Um, but overall, um, they, you know, I haven't done horrible. I mean, I make poor choices at times, just like everybody else, um, or a lot of times, you know. But um, I just find that now, I, I believe it's easier to kind of get a hold of it because before when I would just kind of mess up on something, I'd be like, whatever, and then just go a whole year and gain more weight. So that is a plus that, you know, we can kind of recognize things and go, okay, you know, reel it back in or, or something like that. Um, and then like that um, and then with exercise um, I, I like to do four to five days a week but um, with you know having those being sick or whatever was uh, going on and then just um, you know getting out of the habit I mean I may have uh, one week it was like two days and that was the least amount that I've done uh, this month but I still I would say like three to four days more I've been uh, I worked out on the treadmill here some which I hate I'd rather like go to the gym or be outside but um, I haven't gone to the gym as much like I've either you know done that or been you know walking outside or, or done something here but I really want to get back to that you know at least four to five days a week um, exercise but at least I'm still doing it so that's a good thing now I wanted to do some shout outs first there's it's uh, Bebe Poeta, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'll put it all the links in the sidebar. This is Dennis and his daughter Andrea. He's in the regular weight loss surgery, I mean the weight loss community, but um, he has some great cooking videos, and his daughter is super cute, and so you, you guys need to subscribe to them. Um, just subscribe to him, and you'll see her in there, and I'll hear her talking. She's just darling, and he has some really um, good recipes um, for you to try. Um, next is Liz. I love Navy Boys. Um, she's a, um, a girl that I met here who lives in the upstate as well. She's a really neat girl, really nice. I actually had um, coffee with her today, um, but um, she and I have met up a couple times. So um, check her out and subscribe to her if you haven't. Um, the next there is uh, Kristen. She lives in Germany. She and I have become really good friends. She's a really good girl. Um, she's uh, about to have surgery soon, so just um, subscribe to her if you haven't. So her um, YouTube name is I am Chris 411 and you'll see the spelling um, over to the side. Um, so just support her as much as you can um, because um, you know how we all went through the process of having surgery and it can be um, nerve-wracking at times. So 
um, check her out. The next one is Bracken. His is going down in, um, in MA. Um, he is um, a guy who's fairly new to our community. Um, he had surgery, I want to say this summer, but um, and he had some unique issues um, after his surgery that some of you may can relate to or can learn from or and, you know some things might arise and that might help you out. So um, he has um, videos that he makes um, uh, weekly or sometimes you know um, you know skips weeks or whatever. Uh, but he does make videos and he seems like a really really neat guy and so so just um, subscribe to him and these other people and really try to support them as well um, the next one is April it's um, after March 78 I ended up meeting her and um, her in-laws and her husband and her little girl um, on Sunday and um, they're just a really nice group of people so if you're not subscribed to her um, go ahead and do that she's had surgery uh, two months ago? Sorry, April, I can't remember, but, um, she's lost, like, 68 pounds so far, which is great, so, um, she's another good one to subscribe to, so you guys check these people out, and I'm going to show you my, my jeans. I had somebody say they wish they could see them better. Let me pull this back a little bit where you can see, hopefully. I'm going to pull it before I throw the camera in the floor, sorry. And I'm not gonna edit this, so y'all, y'all bear with me. All right, let me adjust this camera just a little bit. Okay, all right. Here are my jeans in the light where you can actually see. This is the size two blue um, in the right fit, so I ended up getting the smaller size. I, a few of you are saying you might need the two, so um, they stretch, that's why, and once you're wearing them, see even these, I've worn these, and they're stretching, but they'll, they'll draw back up when you wash them, but so I ended up taking one of the pairs back that I hadn't worn and getting the twos, and then I ordered another pair, so I still have those threes, but I'm hoping they'll, they'll drop just a little bit, and I'm, I know I'll still be able to wear them because they were fine. They were just a little bit big right here in the front and the legs. But um, this is my jeans where you can see them in the light from the side and the back. But um, I really like them. As you can see, I don't know if you can, but they're, I mean, they're to the ground. And sometimes I step on them, but it's not so bad. But they're the petite, and that's the only, the you know, the last part of it. But um, I just wanted to show it to you guys. I had a few people... Um, uh, or I don't know a few, I saw one, but anyway, say that they wish they could see them, but I, so I wanted to show them in my update video, but um, that is it for this month, number 18, so if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, just let me know and I'll do my best to help, and I will talk again soon. Bye-bye.